I've never been so nervous to go home. <sighs> We're just taking it one day at a time. But some of us are truly in their element. Everyone's beeping. Yeah. We don't notice that ever yeah. in Utah. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> the biggest bonus is we get to see some good friends. Are you left-handed? Yeah, I am, and I'm oh, feeling the pressure too. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> and do a little dreaming while we're at it. Wild Roots franchise coming to Utah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys and good morning. We have something very exciting happening today. We have got our bags packed. We are ready to head to the airport. It's 6.30 in the morning and I'm gonna show you guys something we don't show very often. And that is Leo having a meltdown. What's going on up here? We had to put pants on. Can we go to the airport? Leo did not want to wear pants, but unfortunately in this world, we have to wear pants wherever we go. So we had to put Leo's pants on. He's having a meltdown. We're about to load all of our stuff into the car and head down to the valley. And today we're getting on an airplane. One thing that I hate about traveling these days is that we don't bring the dogs with us when we like fly across the country and it's so quiet. We dropped the dogs off at their favorite place. They're like amazing, kennel free, um, like free range um, dog kennel yesterday where they just get to play for 24 seven. Um, but it's so eerily quiet here. <sighs> I don't think I could ever live in a house without dogs. It's just, it's too quiet. Are we on time? We might be on time. Wow. We just gotta grab a couple more things and load Leo up. Everything else is already in the truck, so. Checkpoint A, this is where we leave our car and we grab an Uber to the airport. We have quite a bit of bags. Yeah. We have my golf clubs, we have two check luggages, carry-on, three personal items, a stroller, car seat. It's tough to do all this with just two people, but uh, I guess it's worth it in the end. Right on time, here we go. I do love Ubers. Good morning.
made it to DC. Good to see you. You got your little Patagonia on. It's mom's. It's oh, mom's is it really? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Thanks welcome, for picking us Welcome up. to the East Coast. Yeah, where everyone's an, beeping. It's crazy. What's that? Everyone's beeping. Yeah. We don't notice that ever yeah. in Utah. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So I was all excited. I was like, you know, I feel like lasagna. I'm trying to make a lasagna. Ooh. I got all this stuff. I feel like a lasagna. I didn't get pre-cooked. So if you don't buy pre-cooked lasagna, you gotta cook the lasagna. Then you put it in the pan. Then it gets soft. That's the one thing. That's pretty good. Yeah. Feels a little weird. It's gonna be a good week. It's gonna be a hard week. We're just taking it one day at a time. We haven't really talked too much about why we're here. Um, we're here for a celebration, but it's not necessarily the happiest of circumstances. My dad arrived a few days earlier. My brother and his girlfriend, Becca, arrived the following day. And then we somehow made the hardest week back in our childhood home a little more bearable. My mom wasn't there physically, but she was all around us. We laughed and cried and even made time for a favorite family tradition, a Georgetown Hoyas basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> they got absolutely smoked by Marquette, but Leo loved his first basketball game and it felt great to do something regular and fun. We took a nice little tour through downtown DC, had a little bit of fun. But now that we're back here in Allie's childhood home, I am grabbing myself a nice little midday snack. And the snack is the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. If you guys have been around for a while, you've heard us talk about Magic Spoon in the past. I absolutely love Magic Spoon because they are an awesome company that basically took like the nostalgia of having your favorite cereal when you were a kid, and then they transformed it into something that you don't have to feel guilty about eating as an adult. Magic Spoon has zero sugar, it is protein packed, it's high quality, wholesome cereal that you can eat for breakfast, or you can have it as like a midday snack, which is when I like to eat cereal. The flavor I'm eating right now is honey nut and has zero grams of sugar and 13 grams of protein per serving. That's amazing for a bowl of cereal. Not to mention they have cool little games that you can do, you know? You guys remember doing this on the back of your cereal when you were a kid, like Saturday mornings, you get like whatever cereal, play the little game on the back of the box. You can do it again. Magic Spoon fits a variety of different lifestyles. There's only 140 calories per serving, so whether you're watching your weight or you're trying to bulk up and you're just trying to get a little protein like me or somebody that just wants delicious cereal, this is for you because honestly, it tastes great. And now you can treat yourself to two new flavors of their best-selling treats. So if you guys wanna check out Magic Spoon, you can click the link in our description right now and you can build your very own custom box with all of the flavors that you love. And right now, if you use code Trent and Allie, you'll get $5 off. You can choose from the best-selling cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, and don't forget to add their brand new double chocolate and blueberry muffin treats to your order. Thanks again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. Now I'm gonna finish this cereal and we'll see you guys in a bit. What's up guys? 
good morning. It's very early. Um, we're just we're just getting up, obviously, but we're gonna get up and get ready and uh, get in the car. We've got a couple hour drive ahead of us today. This is as good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the night, and I can feel the sun on my skin. The sun is up, a couple hours have passed, and we are feeling a little bit more awake and alive this morning. These early mornings are just harder and harder for me, and it's so funny, because we used to wake up at like three or four in the morning all the time, and go on like crazy volcano hikes, or like just do things that in retrospect, I would never do anymore, because to me, it's just not worth it to wake up at four in the morning. But I'm glad we did it in the past. It's hard to do it now, and we are doing it this morning. We are on some beautiful winding roads. I absolutely love the transition to the foliage out east. It's totally different than like the dry desert, deserty forests, I don't know, alpine forests and then deserts of Utah. Um, it's just like rolling hills and so gorgeous. And I think we're gonna be at our destination in about 45 minutes. You guys have heard us talk about West Virginia quite a few times. We always talk about buying land out here and how it's like, a great place for a homestead and some sprawling area where you can buy a forest and build like a cool house or a cabin or a homestead or whatever and uh, driving through here again because that's where we are we're in West Virginia uh, it's just reminding me of all those feelings just hmm. wanting to stake and claim some land out here and the fact that we're in West Virginia probably gives it away to a lot of you about where we're going we're uh, we're coming to see some friends out here in West Virginia so Take a guess who it is. Oh, there it is! Right. Yeah, look at the mural! We made it to the Wild Roots Cafe to see Wild Wonderful Off Grid, our good friends Aaron and Josh. I'm so excited. <laughs> And you? I'm so glad you guys are here. Hi, nice, nice to see you. Ellie, last time. do you remember Trent? Yeah. yeah. Nice to see you again. Yeah. Last time he was at our yeah. house, he had Leon charging him. Do you remember that? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> So first things first, we've just walked right into this amazing, gorgeous Wild Roots Cafe and uh, we started talking about coffee. Coffee is uh, the central point, the focal point of a lot of our lives. We all run on caffeine. Trent has been making lattes for years and I hear Josh has been perfecting no. his lattes as well. I, I can make an espresso, a mean espresso, a latte art. It's not there yet. <laughs> I need Trent for it. It's not my yeah. forte, man. I've, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to do it, and I'm still not very good. He's great on the machine, but he needs a proper lesson in latte art. Oh. <laughs> right. you know, That's a lot of pressure. Air, 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 <laughs> I spin mine around, and air calls a tornado. So yeah. it's like, whatever, you know? It tastes good, though. It tastes great. great. That's yeah. so funny. Good. What are we waiting for? Let's All right. Let's get caffeinated. Let's get caffeinated. <laughs> this is like, Way too advanced. <laughs> Mine has like a manual paddle. This is like all these buttons. And yeah, this is very fancy. He loves it. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee is yucky. 
That does coffee. Yeah, yeah. coffee. You spilled it all over you this morning. That does coffee. <laughs> Josh made the espresso, Trent's yes. making the, the milk. Okay. Yeah. No pressure. Yeah. All the pressure. <laughs> Not good. bad, Trent. Not, <laughs> not bad. Very good. Not your best, but definitely not your worst. I think uh, you see mine. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it, Ellie? What do you think that looks like? A leaf. A leaf. It's a beautiful leaf. It's an oak leaf. That's exactly what I was. Wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Tastes delicious. Wild roots. To wild roots. How is it? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. That's good coffee, you know. That's the best. Cup of coffee you're gonna get in West Virginia for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we wanna hear. <laughs> Are you making cinnamon rolls? I am. They smell unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Well, hopefully they turn out, y'all can have one for you. Oh my gosh, it's making me drool. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool being kind of like behind the scenes at Wild Roots Cafe. They're still in the process of renovating, getting everything dialed in, kind of getting things squared away. Um, but, the good news is it smells amazing. I know that the food is gonna be on point. The coffee we've already tested oh, yeah. is on point. And it's Jordan Kaylee's coffee. Yes, supplied by Nomadic Movement, which is also really cool. Um, and you just, you know the quality, so it's gonna be delicious. Yeah, the only thing that I'm disappointed in is that uh, this place is gonna be all the way across the country from us. I, I wish that this place was gonna be like down the street because I would be here every day. Wild Roots franchise coming to Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Josh and Aaron are busy right now. They have a lot going on. Aaron is uh, in a meeting right now, and Josh is taking us around the corner to another one of their endeavors. What is it's, this? It's Wild Roots, the candle and soap making factory. Ooh. <laughs> wow. This is legit. Yeah. It's a whole setup back yeah. there. So we're going through 45 pounds of wax per melter. And that gives us roughly 85 candles, but it takes about three hours to melt, so we're doing this as we go, and you can see wax all over the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We tried putting down paper everywhere, it just didn't work out. <laughs> right now we're pushing candles out and doing big pushes on that, yeah. but then we're going to soak. How many candles do you need to make? Um, so last, two weeks ago we made 3,200 candles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we sold out in a week. Oh <laughs> my what? gosh. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow, that's yeah. How do people find Candles. Wildrootscafeco.com. Okay. Well, and what's cool about these candles that Erin was telling me is they're 100% soy, they're like super organic, cotton wicks, it's only essential oils, and like very clean burning candles. So it, it won't give you a headache. Yep. It's, they're, they're not sensitive for like animals or pets. Really top of the line. It's what you want. And the smells are fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we've been smelling them all morning. They smell great. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried to make candles once. I bought, I went to like a craft store, I bought one of these. Okay. I bought like some random wax and I think like some scented stuff and like a wick and the mess that it made to make one candle. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I think I'll actually just buy a ten dollar candle from Walmart because it's probably easier to mass produce them versus buying all the products just for one candle. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're gonna spend a lot more to make one candle. I probably messed it up too. Like I don't, I don't even think the candle worked well, but yeah. in my mind, I was like, this is a great idea. I probably even thought like I could start making these and selling them. Yeah. How old were you? Like 20. <laughs> it's like before I had any like ability to do any type of project, I was like, I could do this. <laughs> nope. Didn't work out well. Oh man, it is so cool to see them get this thing up and running and like get their coffee dialed in and getting their food dialed in and they've got their candle business and like it's just so much fun to come and hang out with these guys and see what they've been up to. I know, and they are serious when they're saying they're bringing the food to Romney, West Virginia. There's like nothing around here. They're having another business meeting, so we're gonna find something quick to eat, and the options are limited. <laughs> yeah. No offense to the people of Romney or no, anything, yeah. but I think that they're gonna be uh, probably like the number one spot to stop at in town. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wow, 
house was built in 1798. Wow. The Davis house. That's cool. That's like, uh, it's got some real history. It's like 50 years before Utah was even founded. <laughs> yeah. That's not, wild. Not made a state, but like founded, like <laughs> before anybody besides Native Americans were there. Yeah. Super quaint, quiet yeah. little town. Yeah. I don't even know if you could yeah. consider it a town. It's so small, but it's so historic and so adorable. And just coming to places like this always makes me reevaluate like, oh, maybe I'm ready for a change. Maybe we should go somewhere else. It doesn't have to be West Virginia, but like, I don't know. I don't, I don't really believe in like making one decision and sticking to it for the rest of your life. Like people change and evolve and that's what's exciting. And I'm always looking for like, oh, what are we gonna do next? I don't know, maybe move to a cute little hillside town. It was founded in 1780 or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the problem is we do need to finish our house before we can do anything. True, so. true, true. Can just leave mid construction. No, project. no, but like one day, what else are we gonna do? You also, know? we'll never leave. We'll, we'll always have our house. Of course. I built that with my bare hands. No, no, it's not going anywhere. A little bit, yeah. So if you swirl it and tap it, like swirl it a lot. You want to like try and reincorporate the foam back into the milk. Oh. <laughs> My face says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> he's, just, he's like, I'll cover all the brown. Actually, it's frosting. Do <laughs> Bobby. You know? You wanna try it? Absolutely. You wanna go see some candles? Okay. Let's stir for a little bit of two minutes. Smell that orange? Oh, it's great. <laughs> what do you think? You left handed? Yeah, I am, and I'm oh, feeling the pressure too, I'm not gonna lie. He's <laughs> <laughs> got two cameras, one on each side. <laughs> Let's get a close-up of his face while yeah. he's concentrating. So now the yeah, swirl of the crema. You gotta get a good like toilet motion going there. Okay, there you go. Now toilet us, motion. Now I don't know if that's I Teaching that. advice from Latte Trent. Higher. Yeah. higher, higher, higher. Oh! oh look at that! <laughs> That was good textured milk, though. Woo! I'm not like, gonna say what, what that looks like. What do you even call that, though? You don't want to know. <laughs> no, that's an abominable the floor, snowman. That's the floor of the panhandle. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Super cool. So not only did we get to experience the making of the candles, but Aaron and Josh are sending us home with a couple candles and. I'm not lying when I say they smell, they smell so good you want to eat them, but don't <laughs> eat them, they're candles. <laughs> but I'm so excited to take them home. <sighs> you guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out. It's always so fun to see you guys when you're in town. It is, I know, we were joking, this is like our yearly check-in. So we'll see you next year. Yeah. <laughs> or earlier, come to Utah. Yeah, what will we all be up to next year?
Because last year we were just talking about doing all of this and we hadn't actually done That's it. Right. And now it's like a full circle moment because you guys are here. Cool. Life, so. Yeah. <laughs> Next year we'll both be done with our additions. That's what I'm. That's what I'm projecting. <laughs> Send it out to the universe, please. Say bye bye. Aww. Aww. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Good to we see you. Guys. We love you. We'll see. We'll see you, you so soon. Much. Okay. Thank bye. you. Bye, buddy. Bye, guys. <laughs> It's honestly so much fun whenever we get together with Aaron and Josh because we have so much in common. We're building at the same time. We have kids now at the same time. Um, we're doing YouTube together. There's just a lot of similarities and just so much fun. And they're uh, awesome. And they're awesome and they're great people. Exactly. We love hanging out with them. And if you're not subscribed to Wild Wonderful Off Grid on YouTube, you 100% need to go subscribe right now because you will not regret it. They have amazing homestead content and now they're creating this masterpiece of a cafe, Wild Roots Cafe, here in Romney, West Virginia. What they're doing is so impressive. And they're making those amazing candles. So <laughs> if you like candles, they are definitely top tier candles at a really affordable price and they smell amazing. And they gave us some. I'm excited to go home and light one. But now I think we are heading back to DC gonna enjoy a nice mellow sunset drive we'll pick you guys up when we get there We had a really nice drive back home. We made it back to my parents, Leo's asleep, and we are just getting ready for bed. And honestly, just feeling so grateful for the amazing friends that we've made down here in West Virginia, and for our family, and for you guys. It's been a hard few days. It's gonna be another couple hard days to come, um, but we're making the most of it and really savoring every moment. Yeah, it's just a bummer that uh, Josh and Aaron live so far away because yeah. we love spending time with them so much. And they're always up to such cool things, you know, not just building their house, but now the Wild Roots Cafe and like the candle business and everything. It's just, it's really, really cool. And we yeah. had a lot of fun with them. So. Yeah, and if you want to check out any of their products, their website or their YouTube channel, we'll link all their information in the description below. Yeah, uh, like Ali said, we do have, you know, some hard times coming up here, but we're prepared for it. We're going to get through it. And, uh... We have fun sharing it with you guys. So yeah. if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Stop and breathe for a minute.